Hey, what's up cats and kittens and shout out to all my Cerebralites. It is me, the Cerebral Diva, and she's back with another episode of In The Loop. And in today's episode of In The Loop, we're about to get to the nitty gritty. Um, it's about to get a little messy. We're going to talk about Dame Dash versus Lee Daniels and the missing $2 million, right? So let me give you guys a little bit of a backstory before we get into the crux of the matter. So Lee Daniels, who is this famed movie producer, um, also the creator of Empire, Apparently, when he was on the uh, come up, he was looking for investors and he approached Dame Das and Dame actually invested $2 million in a Lee Daniels film. It was an investment. It was not a gift. It was an investment, um, which and typically investments come with interest. Um, there's usually, uh, and, and that's the incentive to invest. So anyhow... The films, as, as most of you probably know, Lee has had an illustrious career. You know, he's created several huge films, uh, Monsters Ball, Precious, to name a few. And as I mentioned earlier, they, they had successful show Empire and Star, which spawned the spinoff Star. So, you know, Lee is doing major things out here in the streets. So, Dame, obviously, is sitting at home, like, you know, rubbing his chin, saying, uh, bruh. Uh, about that two million dollars, <laughs> like I see you making moves, but uh, can 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 I, can I get what you know my just deserves? Like what's happening here? So Lee, like many other people who love to borrow money, hates to pay it back, and this is why you know I always tell people loaning money makes enemies. I do not loan my friends money, you know, and I get criticized for it, and sometimes that's one of the drawbacks of being a responsible person. Like if you're a person who saves, if you're a person who um, you know, the, if you do what you're supposed to do to make sure that you live a, a comfortable life, people think that they have the right to infringe on your comfort by asking you for a piece of your pie because they're not responsible with your with theirs. Now, I'm not saying that that's necessarily the case, but it's just one of the reasons I don't loan money to people is because people will dip and dodge and, you know, they'll fall out, they'll, they'll turn you into the villain because they owe you money and they don't want to pay it back. So I feel damn on this 100%. And you know, I've been reading some comments from people, like lots of people have been saying, well, that wasn't the time or place. And you know, I hate when people say that. And I I'm going to compare this to Colin Kaepernick, you know, sitting and kneeling during the national anthem. When he made a d decision to take a stand, uh, everyone keeps saying, that's not the right place. That's not how you should do it. If you owe me $2 million dollars, Every place is the right place. I don't give a damn where you are, what you're doing, who you're with. Um, it, it's not important to me. Um, I don't what whatever your health status is, um, whatever your financial status is. None of that is is relevant to me. Where is my money? And that's the sort of the mentality I think because you know Dame Dash's reputation precedes him. So if you go to Dame Dash and ask him for money, then you should already know the type of dude that you're dealing with. Dame is of the streets. So when you go and, and borrow money from a, a dude who produced a movie like State Property, you have to be prepared, you know, to knuckle up if the situation calls for it. Fortunately, it didn't get to that point. But my point being, watch who you borrow money from, from especially when you, not plan, when you plan on not paying it back. So Dave confronts Lee at this Diana Ross concert, and he's basically like, look, dude, bro, where's my $2 million? And Lee's like, you know, um, take my number and call me. No, 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 no. No, see, that, that's the type of stuff that, will, that probably would have gotten them punched. And I say that because when you owe $2 million, I shouldn't have to chase you down for it, especially when you have it. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you owe me $2 million and you haven't paid me a single solitary cent towards this $2 million debt, that says to me that you just don't give a damn and you have absolutely no intentions on paying me. So now that I'm confronting you face to face, don't give me your phone number now because you could have gotten mine a long time ago if the goal was to pay me back my money. So when I hear this, this story too about Lee Daniels, it definitely, you know, I've, I've been team Monique from the very beginning. A lot of people are uh, were, were sort of coming down on Monique. But when you hear Monique's initial issue with, with Lee Daniels was the fact that he did not want to pay her for her work. He So this is a recurring theme. This is not something that, and it'll, it'll be interesting too, because, you know, these things have a tendency of snowballing. They're, they're like an avalanche. 
Monique will open the floodgate, then they'll come Dame, and then all of a sudden you'll have, you know, interns and um, the personal assistants and wardrobe stylists, all of these people will start coming out of the work. It will be sort of this quasi Me Too movement about Lee Daniels not paying people because that seems to be his modus operandi. Like he doesn't like to pay people what they earned or what they deserved. And in some cases, what they've actually given to him, i.e. Dame Dash. So Dame confronted him. Lee was looking stupefied, mystified, and, you know, trying to pull a rabbit out of a hat. At the end of the day, if it was really about that, you know, it's 2018. You Lee Daniels, pull out your black card, um, but pull out your checkbook. Not that people really carry checks anymore. PayPal it to me. I don't care what you have to do in this instance. Your word is not good enough for me anymore, bruh. So trying to offer me your phone number, this, that, and the third is not good enough because you had ample time to pay me back my money. You chose not to do it. So right now, I'm in your face. There's no place to run. What are you going to do? Not only am I in your face, I'm documenting it. I have it on film for all the world to see so they can see you for exactly not just who you are, but see you in this moment committing to make or to repay me back the money that you owe me. So I think the, the way that Dame handled it was so gangster because I know that Dame probably <laughs> wanted to put hands on him. And I can't lie, if it was $2 million, Look, I, I, I don't know what I would do if someone owed me $2 million. Well, first of all, I'm not loaning anyone $2 million, with the exception of maybe my mother. Um, but I can't see myself actually loaning someone $2 million, not that I have $2 million. Um, so I really think that seeing this side of Lee Daniels really changed my perspective on him. You know, I really appreciate the fact that Dame had the gumption, The he was audacious enough. And, you know, people like... You know, people may feel some type of way because he did it at a Diana Ross concert, but I really don't. I really don't. When, you, when you're when you in a public venue, anything can happen. These things happen. So if you don't want, you know, if you don't want confrontation and altercations, don't go to public venues because it's not a controlled environment. You can't control what could potentially happen. So anyhow, you guys, enough about what I think about this subject. I want to hear from you. I want to know whether you feel Dame Dash was justified in his approach and whether or not he deserves it. Well, it's not a whether or not he deserves the money. He definitely deserves the money. If you just people, if you oh, listen, if you're out there listening to this video and you owe somebody money, please pay them back today. Let's, we're we're going to call um, June 27th. It's going to be officially uh, Lee Daniels Day. Pay back your money day. Pay people what you owe them. If you owe money to your friends, quit dipping, quit dodging, quit hiding. Just pay people, even if you have to do it in increments, right? Because sometimes, you know, a $2 million hit is a big hit, you know, and if you don't have a lot of money, a twenty, uh, a $200 hit is a big hit. But if you pay people back incrementally, here's $100, here's $200, here's $50, pay people back just as a measure of good faith. You know, that's really what it comes down to. You can't be around shopping, you know, taking trips out of town and putting pictures up on Instagram and, you know, Snapchatting your vacations in Miami. But here it is. You still owe me $300 because you told me that you can pay your light bills. Like, that's just not cool. So I'm officially deeming June 27, 2018. Pay back day. Pay, please pay people back the money that you owe them. Don't get Lee Daniels. You know, don't have people confronting you and putting you on a film, you know, for, for not paying people back the money. If you owe someone and you know you owe them, pay them. It's really just that simple. Anyhow, you guys, that's enough for me. Like I said before, I want to know what you think, so make sure you comment below. Um, also, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and please share if you feel so inclined. Um... As always in closing, remember to live better, love harder, and think smarter. It is me, the Cerebral Diva, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Have a fantastic day. Bye.